Good afternoon. Um, I support BEV in terms of the living wage is not quite as simple as the, um, the yes or no. Um, I suspect that once many actual directly employed council staff on minimum wage, they will be contractors. Um, if, you, um, if you give the living wage to contractors, that could apply to the contracts and that could apply to the rates. So there is a balance in all these things, and BEV is quite right, it does take further discussion. <coughs> Um, of course, of course, we're, I'm sure we'd all support Charles Rainey said he's the very person saying no, wouldn't it? Um, what would I do to support that? Um, in the 80s, when I worked for Wellness Navy Health Board, I was involved in the Poverty Cities campaign, which was a collaboration of uh, government and local authority and um, um, at the time, hospital board uh, um, organisations. So, certainly look at something in, in a far more collaborative approach to, to getting something down across the board. Um, I would certainly um, um, support the reduction of liquor outlets, regardless of where they are. Um, I, I have worked in my current position in, with all the kids trust in helping those situations into, um, to, uh, into council and properties at the lesser event so they can actually survive to help other people. Um, currently, the NPDC has issued uh, uh, has lent out 1.3 million dollars since 2013 in 2013 for the uh, warmer home and uh, clean heating campaign. So certainly support that and perhaps increase that so uh, families can have at zero interest the ability to insulate and heat their homes, which I think is absolute um, absolute minimum. Um, also through the current district plan, uh, which is um, going through the process now for another uh, some months, um, there's um, potential to increase um, uh, living standards through small, having, having smaller homes, um, easier to heat and easier to support, and that district plan will actually have a fundamental difference on the future of housing within the new current district, so that, that requires some, um, some thoughts. Yeah, and that's about it really, and I think the Healthy Cities thing is the key, where it's a collaborative approach between council, government departments and the district health board where we work together, not just in isolation. Thank you very much for your time, John Sargent.